Little high, little ho! Hi guys, my name is Alante Mateo V and you're watching my channel. Doo, doo, doo. Hey, I I kind of like that intro. Oh my god. Here comes Pongo with his pinchy acrylics. Yes, mijo, how can I help you out, fool? You were all calmado, pero as soon as the camera lights come on, you're like, Dad, I want to be a star. Okay, one moment of shine. There we go. Say hi, Pongo. Shut up, bitch. So today I'm making agua chiles. I know, I know. Guys, I'm not gonna do a whole long ass intro. We're just gonna jump right into it because fuck, like I'm really pushing that documentary, that whole biopic. First you gotta wash your shrimp. And I know a lot of you limp wrist haters out there are familiar with that, huh? You're familiar with washing your shrimp, huh? Leaving those comments, bashing us limp wristers. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and wash your shrimp. Don't know what that was about. Girl, you smell like fish. When's the last time you showered? Oh, you were in the Atlantic Ocean? Dude, what the hell? And you still smell like that? I would expect like a little sea salt or something, but you're over here giving, you're giving canned tuna, honey. You're giving canned tuna, you're giving chicken of the sea. Now, you guys are probably like, okay. <sighs> They're trying to give me a shower now. So next thing I wanna do, I wanna get yourself a little bolsa, a little bolsita. How many items? Uh-huh. The sign right here says 15 items or less. I count. No bananas count as individuals. Yeah, you're gonna have to go in the next lane. Uh huh, yeah. This one's only for 15 items or less. No, the next lane over there. They're gonna help you out. If I give you a break, everybody's gonna want a break. Got a little bolsita for them shrimp tails. Now I know a lot of you like them shrimp tails. I heard that's a delicacy. <laughs> Be like, hey, scrap the shrimp, give me the tails. You fry them shrimp tails up real crispy, throw them in the palm of your hand. Bing! Got yourself a little sea trail mix. Now let's get started with the detailing. Ah, bitch, you're over here detailing cars, I'm over here detailing shrimp. Dude, I haven't seen you since Shark Tail. Dude, you were everywhere. You were the it shrimp for a while. Uh-huh. No way. Do you still talk to Bruce? What? Dude, sea salt is one hell of a drug. Yeah, I told him, dude, I told him to stay away from that stuff. I'm glad that he's getting the help that he needs now. Uh-huh. And Shrimp Better, are you still with her? Dude, I knew it. I knew she was a seaweed head. No, because when I invited her to my quinceanera, she was rolling up seaweed in the back. I know. See, that's why I don't talk to Shimpeta anymore. Anybody want to be friends? On the road again. So how's your day going, guys? I feel like, like no setup, just kind of like vibing out with the camera. Like this is a mood. Hey, bitch, I'm detailing these pretty fast. Hey, do they have a job for this? <gasps> Wait, I think I want to take that as a career. Professional shrimp detailer. Wait. Holy crap. I'm like really passionate about it. But it's raining hard over here, bitch. But you know what, people are always like, oh my God, it's raining. And then pinchy summer comes around, oh my God, I miss the rain. Are you ever gonna be satisfied? Those people, get the fuck out of my life. I enjoy all the weathers. When it's hot, I know I start smelling like barbacoa, but hey. Do you think there's people out there who like really love the smell of shrimp? No, I'm not talking about like cooked shrimp, I'm talking about like raw shrimp. Like imagine like they're about to go out. <clears throat> okay, all the hyenas at the bar tonight. All right, hat looks good, fit looks good. Oh, oh shit, I'm forgetting my scent. All right. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> Tom Ford ain't got shit on me. <laughs> but I'm not gonna knock it, honey. I'm not hating. I'm just, I'm just honestly curious. Go on with your bad stuff, you little seafood boy. I ain't trying to go around smelling like lake, bitch. That's what I'm telling you. I ain't trying to smell like lake. No, but I'm really serious, guys. If you guys are into like the shrimp smell, like leave it down in the comments, and I will make little vials, and you guys can buy it off of me in the black market. I got a pussy. You guys didn't hear that. So now that you bathed your shrimp and got them all squeaky clean, uh, the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna chop them up. I know a lot of people like to have guachitas with like the whole shrimp. I like mine in little bite-sized chewable pieces. Oh my God. Oh my God, don't cancel me. You just wanna like, just you know, cut them. You don't have to cut them too small. We're making shrimp nuggets. We're not making shrimp puree, honey. Just little, little bite-sized pieces, you know? It just makes it more enjoyable to eat because one time, Okay, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I like to cut up them, cut them up in little pieces. Cause one time I went to a little marisco's place and I was like, oh yeah, I love me some aguachiles. And, and like I I took I guess I took too big of a bite. Like I was all well mouthing it, like because <gasps> I was like really hungry. And next thing you know, and like I was quiet for a good 30 minutes, and all my friends are like, wow, I never heard a Lombieta lost for words. And I was right there like <laughs> They're like, do you 
Do you want some chips? Bitch, I was choking. I got a chair and everything and I was like. <laughs> Finally, a waiter came and he was like, what the fuck? And my friends were like, oh my god, I thought you were just breathing hard. So that's why I cut them in bite-sized pieces. Okay, did you ask for an autobiography? No, but I'm giving it. Damn, this is taking, this is just taking quite a while. I, hey, don't they know I'm just a shrimp detailer? I'm not a shrimp cutter. Damn. Hey, Chad. Hey, when's Henry coming in? No, because uh, this isn't my job. No, I'm the shrimp detailer. Uh-huh. When does he come in? At six? All right, well, I'm leaving at 5.55, so ask him if he can come in about five minutes earlier. I need to talk to him. No, because this isn't fair. I'm, I'm picking up other people's slack. Do you guys ever just go on like random scenarios like that? Like I'd be throwing the most random scenario. No one's home. I'm talking, I'm literally talking to the balloons right here. Like nobody's home. Sometimes Pongo chimes in, but like sometimes it's just a little too much even for him. That last time I went a little too far um, with my scenario, I started playing seven people. Well, shit, you know, I'm a one man show. What am I gonna do? Throwing on towels as wigs and dancing with the mop. And then he was like, yeah, this is, whew, I'm gonna head out. So he went to his room and locked the door and, and barricaded with a chair so I couldn't get in. Nobody knows the struggles. Damn, dude, this one had a fucking umbilical cord. Is that your dick? What what was this that came out of you? Bitch, what was that? Is that a shrimp dick? Is this a shrimp dick right here? All right, the shrimp is all nice and cut. Ew, kinda like the way I like it. Just kidding. I like all shrimp. And now we're gonna make the aguachile sauce. I have four jalapenos and two serranos. Spice it up to your liking. I'm gonna leave the seeds in there because I like my extra picante, you know what I'm saying? I like my extra picante. Serranos are extra spicy food, so just be careful fool. They have a kick, like a little karate kid. Um, so if you guys aren't used to spice, if you're not, you're not the biggest fan of the, the devil's kisses on your tongue, then you're, you're probably not gonna like serranos. Like if ketchup makes your nose run, bitch, plan your funeral. So cut these baddies in half right there. Oh yeah, you look a nice and sexy, bitch. I go through all these accents all day, guys. Like, shit, give me an accent. Canadian? Hi, I'm from Canada. Western? Hi, I'm from the West. Philadelphian? Hi, I'm from Philadelphia. See, girl, like, I should've took accents as a, as a career. I'm a shrimp detailer, <laughs> fish cleaner, cashier, and now professional accenter. And you're gonna need some limes. So I'm gonna use three limes and then two lemons. I know, people are like, only use lime. Whoa, dude, what? That's not how my mom makes it. That's not how she makes it. Do I look like your mama, biatch? I'd be fighting my own demons around here, guys. Mm -hmm. Even Lucifer is a little bit intimidated by me. One time I walked into the room and little Lucy was right there. She turned the other way with his all hose down. It's all hose down. Didn't make eye contact with us. I was like, that's right, honey. There's a new demon in town, and she didn't come to play. Actually, I don't even know why I came here. I'm a little lost. Do you guys know where the 405 is at? So we're gonna add your lemon in here. Oh! Man, I'm mighty strong. Call me Paul Bunyan. Girl, I broke it. Well, that'll do it. I'm just so buff. That thing dangling right there. You're the cutest little thing I ever done seen. So if you ever break your lemon squeezer or if you don't have guns like me, the next thing you can do, let me teach you a little life hack. You can get your tongs right here, the ones that you do your pat smear with. Get it right here, mm-hmm, and just squeeze. Look at that. Damn, I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> Shit. Man. Damn, why am I getting emotional? Man, when God really didn't make a mistake when he made me. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. what you say? Hit the road. I can play both parts. I can play both parts. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Jack, a little trace. A singer, professional fish detailer, cashier, um, lemon squeezer breaker. What else am I? Damn. Chef. Um, fat. You can't have any seeds in your in your aguachila sauce because one time my friend Jorge, I gave him some aguachilas. I accidentally dropped a seed in there. He ate it. That motherfucker's a bush now. That looks about good right there. If you want to add more lemon juice, you can. But if you need it to be a little bit more watery, just add. Well, damn, I said it right there. Just add some more water. Let's blend this bad bitch up now. I'm gonna have to add some water up in this bitch. I'm gonna have to add some water up in here because she ain't blending. There we go, add a little bit of water. So now I'm gonna add my seasoning mix. In here is onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper, and nor. 
So go ahead and throw that bad bitch in there like that. Mm -hmm. She's gonna take taste. Two! She a wild one! What doggy? Man, hold on to your horse again, buddy! Woohoo! Me doggy! Woo, child! Wanna sniff it out? I'll be at your funeral with a eulogy. We're gonna let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes. I gotta drop the accent. I gotta. I almost forgot. I, I like to throw some red onions in here and cucumbers. You can do this afterwards, but I feel like throwing in the red onion prior to it when it's like marinating, kind of like marinates the onion as well too. And it's kind of like a little like lemony, agua chili onion. And it just tastes, everything just goes hand in hand together. And then you're gonna throw some cucumbers in here too as well. Like I said, you can do this afterwards, but I like to do it before. That's just me. If you want, get a lawyer and sue me. All right, now I'm gonna pop these bad boys in for about 30 minutes. So I'll see you around 30 minutes. Well, to me, it's gonna be 30 minutes, but for you guys, it's probably gonna be. All right, now that I let my awa chiles marinate for two decades, now it's time to get to play in my favorite part. Also, my honey bun is here. Little high, little ho. Little high, little ho. Grandma over here smelling like pig. Hey, twins, twins. Bitch, Nobu would be like $47 your firstborn and your third leg. Don't be stingy, honey. This ain't Chipotle. Don't be stingy now. Get your little thick ass over here, you little shoestring looking ass. Oh, that is so good. I know, I went and got your favorite chips too. I know, these are my favorite chips. The other chips you got were over there like freaking napkins. I'm not getting those ever again. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. These are it. Mm hmm. That'll do it right there. Mm hmm. Alrighty, guys. Um. You can go ahead and finish this off okay. because I got my bowl right here. Oh. But yeah, guys, that was me making my famous agua chiles. Try this recipe out and then tag me again so I can block you and steal your firstborn. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun to film. Um, girl, I was everywhere, but like I got the dish done, fool. That's the only thing that matters. But if you like cooking videos like this, let me know and I will definitely block you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It was fun. I kind of like like no lighting, no setup. Just turn on the camera and go. It feels like, I felt like our nipples were like cuddling together. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and send to your Sancho. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, stay kind, stay humble, and I love you guys. Whoop, whoop. Actually, I think I, I'm starting to fall in love. Beso. <laughs> Bye, guys.